turns out they spoke the truth about you. Didn't I say we'd see cracks off to bring out the truth, eh? Now we'd see Lugos at the gates of Herbroda. Them supper knives are good for picking your teeth, Jerry. We heard. We dad did it. Last night was... Bow before modern Freya. These continental dandies come a-strut and then we gotta drag their corpses out of Jeepers. Wanted to talk. Hammond's gone. You mentioned a bounty on his head. You've done me a great service, Wolf. And not only me, in truth. Take this. I'll send men out to deliver word of Hammond's demise. I thank you. Wanted to talk. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now Wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not, we'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> Siri will be safe in Kertrold. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erlen Duncrate did. Erlen Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. I can't take this. You can, you must. Let me do this much at least. If you insist. Thank you. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Who's this? Hold on, who the Pull that his guts and made him run around a tree till he ran out. For guts. Where'd you hear that? I was, save for the title, a lot of things changed. Sad when someone like Bran dies. 
Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. I mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came and there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. How's it feel to rule? Jarl's giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. They seem to believe in me. Besides Lugos, of course. Tried talking to him? Could still win him over. I don't know about that. He's more mule-headed than my father, but I'll try, of course. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin, battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think he'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. I've always wondered, what do you better now? do once there are no basilisks in Ah, Geralt. How are things? Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. You and Ciri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye, spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was, scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates, why none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once, smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye, we had twelve winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me dad whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Friends we show heart, foes we show our eye. Just two long boats, and still they snuck ashore. Can you stay in the house? Foreigner, watch your still they snuck ashore. Snowmatic slayer, be mental dandies, come a strutting, then we it's gotta so drag their corpses out of the air. Middle Friends Morgan's we show birthday heart, tomorrow. foes we show our eye. I've no clue what they get. Blooms are late, and there are very few bees. Fierce frosts we have this winter. Freya, holiest mother. Constant sound of axes and saws, the air thick with the smell of sap. You long ships. It's the Can way we talk? The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. The Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl, and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen. Thanks. 
Pan as well. Ooh, Geralt the Monster Slayer. Geralt, greetings. Come now, darling, don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. Won't find any better. From the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountains. What about the trade we do with Witcher the Empire? Which again? Of course it's been right. I'm sorry, but I don't believe it. Oh! Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many had liked to do it, so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? For as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Got your invitation. Decided to come. That's simple. Let's get down to business. I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned. Yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman. Itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more. Calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Ah, uh, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine, I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember. The future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you come in? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your well, lackey. You know. Off the street, I mean. Get the no one. Was it worth taking Nerves the time getting the better of you. I'm not nervous. Stay. Just cautious. A trait you ought to nurture as well. I know, and I am. 
Round about the streets for a time to lose any tails. I've worked in intelligence as long as Is you Is it your belief Novograd no stands to gain from being annexed by Redania? We shall talk about this later, all right? Do you have to pay much? Was it worth taking the type to that medic? Absolutely. I was made for love. <sighs> What's he doing here? Your kind spreads disease. Go, go, Defeatism go, go. and uh, Watch it. Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right, a Pella from a village nearby, gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left, accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offenses? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king. Wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. It is about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Long live Radovid! Doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Dragged off. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is.
what's he doing here? Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here you did grow. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no wrong. Oh, anger gets Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Finderinger's great Og Pog. Human finder on Big Suzy's cart. Suzy's big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Og Pog man's cow to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's. The stringy man's blah. Oggy make man's Susie's make. Fog, pog and rog Susie make. You even need shoes? Susie's on whom and it is. Susie's once og, pog and rog. Big lords trollers be. Like whom and it? So long. Troll cave must be nearby. Teach trolls how to cuss. Geralt, my, my, been bloody years. This whole. Relax, Og. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger Fred Og, go! A wheeze in soup throw. I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, gentle trolls, I time I'd traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Tell her no go. Tell her shit. Shit us down. Tell her suck 
cock chooses me. I can see you've made friends, but Tala needs to come with me. Blood know where Tala go. Tala chooses mix. But I need him. Talas here stay. You chooses got. Og chooses got not. Rug got not. Pug got not. Tala chooses make. Tala go. Now let's all stay calm. Tala will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll, uh, get some leather for your shoes. <laughs> Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. <laughs> Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pog for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now pricks. Hmm. Tyler go. But back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. Got to admit that you have a way with troll. Ever thought of having children? Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, butchers are sterile. Ah, you've not changed a bit. Still tart as rotting rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through? Or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? Hey, tell ya? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. <sighs> be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the black ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all, as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul. And blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Like? That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? 
Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach, and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I'm plowing calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right. Gotcha. So long, Taller. And good luck. Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty oar with a clap. But we'll figure a way round that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. House of yours in White Orchard? Pretty nice. Thing is, you forgot to clean it out before setting off. Shite. Thought I'd covered my tracks. How'd you find it? By accident. It took the form of a frying pan. Long story. Here's your monocle. It's broken, but could still be useful. It's been a while. Fill me in. Nilfgaard fucking dismantled the Temerian Secret Service in one night. I barely escaped with me life. Proceeded to drown my sorrows till my liver screamed bloody murder. What do you do now? Grassroots work. I hang about the area, watching, listening, asking questions, and recruiting new agents. Life treating you all right? Eh, uh, bit like a potato beetle. I keep quiet, stay out of trouble, and live on fucking potatoes. Did I hear right? Where it is you like to play cards? I like to play, period. Dice, cards, chess. I unwind playing games. You asking because you got fuck all to talk about? Or are you in the mood for a round? All right, let's play. Just remember. Only interested in good cards. Don't want any trash. A little ace rotting cut. Know how long it took me to assemble that plowing deck? Nope. Hey, know any other players who are good? And what's more, have good cards? Been hearing a lot of late about some prick named Lambert. Supposed to have an evil fucking deck. You might know him, actually. He's a witcher. Hear these tariffs? It's the king who sends them, not me. If you decide who passes, <laughs> no it. I advise you well. Steer far afield of Spitfire Bluff. Whoa! Ah! Oh, freak! Dumb oaf. <laughs> this oh. oh, this oh. No worry. Oh. Honor in the fatherland. Hands up on girls. Yippee! The witch are killed a monster. I heard the nymphs were biting yesterday. Instead of the fish. Aye. Following him myself, so I'm drifting on a plank. Promise me a gold ring to put him ashore. Did you take pity on the sodden wretch? You know you can't refuse.
Show me what you got. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? They call me Geralt. Who are you? Is that what you? I heard the ballad about this and that. What's your name? Shut it. Yennefer. Sorceress's name is Yennefer of Vengerberg. Hi, that's it. Her eyes flashing lightning. Her heart an icy bed. Uh, what's it called? Now my mum's beer, get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, is that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle. But it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey. You call a shipwreck conventional? Leave it be, mate. You know what he means. <coughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we were on route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain. He sold him a magic firefly purported to know the way to a hidden treasure. Got nothing to fear from me. There's a boss with a gaggle on geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. I both Gaspar and Ferenc. Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeated. He said the gates to be rescued. We had to take action, or, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be your dad. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up, make you see one thing. This Ivo, where do I look? Edgar insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Tried to knock it out his head, literally. Bugger wouldn't budge it. All right, see if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand.
Not your lucky day. to flee the fiend one of the missing dwarves stubby legs Shame too still dead. A man! Ha, am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah.
<laughs> a fetlock in the arse. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends, what's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Any chance you've seen an ashen haired woman around here? Here? Nay, hey, not a soul. But. Ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but... What can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning that... I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then. If you're a wee bit drowsy, oh. Come on, get up. Oh, nibbles, you's a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. much about this isle. Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of.
If, if you're a wee bit drowsy, well... Come on, get up. Oh, nibbles, you's a naughty kitty, aren't you? Uh, all right, I'm up. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Brought you your friend. Ah, right, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snow. Was his nephew. Thanks for helping, and uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. 
A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avilach, he prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed, though. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalark opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, 
we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know, he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage. One with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. <laughs> Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Doodoo. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. That's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Kjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofferton, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. Like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I 
I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... out of here. They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Trist, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Fine. So, a minute, then we go, all right? <sighs> this is just a little awkward. 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. 
No points for creativity, but for your candor. Time to go. Yen, you know the Wild Hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic. Islands. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might counter with Dimeritium or our own magic. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids through which they travel. There's just not enough of us. It'll be a hard fight. Ah, Geralt! How are things? Farewell, Ancrate. And will be here soon. Head dare is upon us. The final age, the time of the end. Get ready, Fulin. Wild hunts near. So Ragnar Rog is upon us. Ha! You found her. They told me the hunt was after her. But those buggers might burst in uninvited. So I've made a Mahakaman mix. When this plowing blows, it'll be bits and pieces, nothing more. Bring all your tools with you? Thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing. Plate will need some hammering. That sort of thing. Thought right. Thanks, Sultan. Plan to top that by brewing some more Mahakam and mix. Shade's so volatile, you need but glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. Willing to craft something for me? Of course. Provided you have a diagram. Zoltan. I certainly hope this gas will work. It shall. We must just ignite it at the right moment. And that hole, is that there for good? We shall worry about the hole once it is all over. And now, step back, Master Witcher. Wolf? Anair! Anadar! Bolanda! Whoever repaired these walls did a shoddy job of it. What's the gas for? It's highly flammable. I aim to detonate it. Incinerate a few of the hunt's riders in the process. Castle walls won't suffer? A fortress walls are in ruin. They cannot be harmed any more than they already are. We're not masons. A shame. We'll not be able to keep the hunt outside the fortress. That's no loss. We don't know much about breaking sieges either. We'll face them in the courtyard. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Damn, Any progress? Of junk, barely younger than Vesemir. Ready for battle? I was born ready. Esco. Greetings, Wolf. Esco. Need some peace. Gotta prepare.
Mm. Elbow higher. It's high enough. You drop it a bit every time you release the string. Apart from which, flaming projectiles require a different trajectory. You're here. Glad to see you. Huh. Set out alone, Vest tracked me down. Insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help. But I took it all out in Roach along the way. Ah, some old friends. What's this horse son doing here? We need him. You might have forgotten what he did. I haven't. I'll keep an eye on Letho. And I'll behave, I promise. Watch this murderer and you won't be watching the enemy. Why is the Kingslayer so important? Aridon's a king, ain't he? Fuck you both. We'll stay and help. But we don't want him at our backs. Big fight ahead of us. How's morale? Remember our encounter with them at the Hanged Man's Tree? We'll thrash him again this time. Geralt? I used to fear training on this. <laughs> so many bruises. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Some place picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala, or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. An illusion. 
Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. Leave my dresser alone. Getting all gussied up for the wild hunt? Women only ever beautify themselves for their own satisfaction. Glad you're here. It's good to see you again. Expected you earlier. I started off heading in the opposite direction, but then turned around. What made you change your mind? There are times when a woman should simply not explain her decision. That goes doubly for sorceresses. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the Hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? Aridin, the King of the Hunt. He's confident. He'll strike hard, hoping to defeat us with the force of the blow alone. We've got to take the initiative away from him, foil his plan. I'll generate a magic dome over the fortress. It will scatter them, force them to land in the woods. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss, and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. You fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. 
We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witches' traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. We'll need weapons that can pierce the Hunt's armor. Gotta clear the armory. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Can't help but worry. We're short on meteorite steel swords. Got enough for everyone. Here, Vesemir dug this up for you. Gnome forged blade, crossguards elven handiwork. Cuts through armor like butter. Thanks, for everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Taking Letho with us. You know my opinion. <laughs> 